Good morning, Jay Swami Tanya students. Today, we are going to start with some number 12 of exercise 9.5. 12 7. Given differential equation E students, x squared dy plus xy plus y squared dx is equal to 0. Initial condition when x is 1, y is 1. Okay, students. Let us go for the method. All of you are very well acquainted with the method. dy by dx is equal to minus of xy plus x square upon x square. So minus of x is to 0 into y by x plus <coughs> sorry y by x the whole square. So this is of the type x is to an g of y by x. This is homogeneous with degree 0. To solve homogeneous differential equation, we take variable y by x is equal to b. So y is equal to bx. Therefore, dy by dx is b plus x dv by dx. Substituting this value use v plus x dv by dx is equal to minus v minus v square. So, we get x dv by dx is equal to minus of v square plus twice v. So, students, the variable separable form will be dv upon v into v plus 2 minus integration dx upon x plus c. Here, I am writing this as 1 by 2 into v plus 2 minus a dv upon v into v plus 2 is equal to minus of dx upon x plus c. Now take individual division, so v plus 2, v plus 2 gets cancelled, integration of v is log of v. Here v we cancel minus upon v plus 2 plus log mod x is equal to c. So log mod y by x upon y by x plus 2 plus log mod x square is equal to twice c which is k. So we will get log of y upon y plus 2x into x square is equal to constant k. So x square y upon 2x plus y is equal to plus or minus e is to k and that is lambda. So x square y is equal to lambda times 2x plus y is general solution. Now when x is 1, y is 1. Substituting x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. 1 is equal to twice lambda. So lambda is 1 by 3. If I substitute here, we get 3x square y is equal to twice x plus y, which is the particular solution. That's all, students. Let us take the answer. Answers can be written students, in many different form, but I think students, this is the correct answer. Three x square y is equal to y plus two x. Okay, students. Now we are doing sum number thirteen. What is the differential equation? What is the initial condition? We will check, students. Now, sum number 1, 3, 13 students. Now, given differential equation is x sin square y by x, x sin square 
y by x minus y into dx okay plus x dy is equal to 0 initial condition then y is pi by 4 at that time x each students y okay now all of you pay attention now don't write students means concentrate I need to say so when I write this will be y minus x sine square y by x upon x so this is written as y by x minus sine square y by x into x raised to 0 so this is a homogeneous degree, degree 0 so substituting the standard values b plus x dv by dx is equal to b minus sine square b and d stands cancel integration d upon sine square d is equal to minus of dx upon x plus c now 1 upon sine square is cos x square integration of cos x square is minus cot x so here minus cot v is equal to c so instead of v you can write so this is log mod x by 2 on the left minus cot y by x is equal to c is the general solution now when x is 1 y will be pi by 4 log 1 will be 0 and cot pi by 4 will be 1 so c will be minus 1 substituting this values p s will be like this log mod x plus 1 is equal to cot y by x is p s particular solution 1 is written as log e by z even you can write log for e x is equal to cot y by x as particular solution we have to write this answer is also absolutely right now students we are doing sum number 14 next question is students sum number 14 let us write the given differential equation students the next question which we are doing is students sum number 14 now students here the differential equation given is very simple uh, dy by dx minus y by x plus cosec y by x is equal to 0 initial condition when y is 0 x is 1 ok so dy by dx will be y by x minus cosec y by x so this is of the form x is to 0 into y by x minus cosec of y by x so again the method shows the concept everything remains the same basic approach in a homogeneous differential equation students we take y by x is equal to v so substituting these values for so left hand side will be v plus x d by dx is equal to v minus cosec v v stands cancelled integration dv upon cosec v is equal to minus integration dx upon x plus c cosec is sin v integration of sin v is minus cos v and log mod x i take on the left is equal to c so log mod x minus cos of y x is equal to c is the general solution 
function when x is 1, y is 0. Substituting x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, log 1 is 0, minus cos 0 is equal to c, log 1 is 0, cos 0 is 1, so c is 0. Okay? Minus 1. So we will get log mod x plus 1 is equal to cos of 1 by x is the ds. One is written as log e basic, even you can write log e x is equal to cos y by x means. Answers are written in multiple forms in differential equation. So don't worry, your answer in this form is also correct. Now students, we are doing some number 15 today. Definitely we will complete this exercise. Some number 15. What is the given differential equation? It is 2xy plus y square minus 2x square dy by dx is equal to 0. Initial condition when y is 2, x is 1. So dy by dx is written as twice xy plus y square upon twice x square. So this is written as y by x plus 1 by 2 into y by x whole square. So this is of the form x raised to 0 into y by x plus 1 by 2 into y by x the whole square. So definitely this is homogeneous substituting the values. We get v plus x dv by dx is equal to v plus half v square. V and v stands cancel. And we can write this is twice integration dv upon v square is equal to integration dx upon x plus c. So this integration would be 2 into v raised to minus 1 upon minus 1 is equal to log mod x plus c. So minus 2 by v or instead of v I can write, uh, write it as y by x will so be from minus 2x by y is equal to log mod x plus c is the general solution when x is 1, y is 2 substituting x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 2 and 2 x cancel so minus 2 is equal to log 1 which is 0 so c will be minus 2 so the solution set will be log mod x is equal to 2 minus 2x upon y. This answer is that same direction. So don't worry about the answer or different form of answer is given at the back. We can write answers in many multiple forms. So do not worry about this. This is absolutely correct answer. So they have taken LCM and Simplified students, but this is 100% right. No need to take or make y as subject of formula students. We can write the answer in this form also. So, students, the most important type here is to convert the differential equation in homogeneous form. Okay, students, now uh, our next. Uh, approach is for MCQ. Let us do the MCQ students. Uh, pay attention. I think this is 100% right, so we did not worry. The answer of C is minus 2. If I write here minus 2, transfer 2. If you get 2 minus 2, it's the right type of The form of answer is absolutely right. Now, MCQ 16 is a very simple question, students. If a differential equation is homogeneous of the form, MCQ 16, homogeneous is in two ways. X is to n some function of 
y matrix, then we take v is equal to y matrix. And homogeneous can be written in other form as y is to h of x by y. In this case, we take v is equal to x by y or x is equal to y v. Here we take y is equal to v x to x. Here we take y is equal to v x and here we take x is equal to y and v. So the correct option is C. The correct option is answer C. And students pay attention in the 17th question. The correct answer is option C. You can check convert it into the form x is to n g of y by x or convert it into the form y is to n g h of x by y. Both the ways students, it is correct. So you need not worry. So this completes students our exercise of homogeneous differential equation. It is a fairly long exercise because we had here exclusively many lengthy sums. Okay students, today we are starting a new topic students because the new topic is linear differential equation students and that topic has been removed from board examination but students you need not worry still we have to meet and that topic we will take next time today students miscellaneous exercise in chapter 9 let us do questions 1 and 2 miscellaneous exercise 9 students we are doing main question 1 and 2 so all of you please pay attention be careful this is you can say worth study as well as enjoying for each of the following given uh, differential equation indicate its order and the bill ok students so will write the differential equations for your understanding the first differential equation is d2y by dx2 d2y by dx2 plus 5x into dy by dx whole square minus 6y is equal to log x ok let me write first all the differential equations like in the pattern the next is dy by dx cube minus 4 times dy by dx square plus 7y is equal to sine of x and the third is to d4y upon dx4 minus sine of d3y upon dx3 is equal to z. Okay, students, now be very careful whenever we are doing the sums of order and degrees to this to understand the basic of, if you can say, perfectly so basic of the sum. Now, uh, students revise the definition of order and degree. Revise the definition of order and degree of differential equation. The order of highest order derivative is the order of differential equation. That is very simple. But how to define degree of a differential equation? After writing a differential equation in the polynomial of derivatives, the power of highest order derivative is the degree of differential equation. So here, the highest order derivative is 2, its power is 1. Differential equation is always in the polynomial form of derivatives. So here, order 2, degree 1. Degree is not the highest power occurring in the differential equation. Degree is the power of highest order derivative. 
which is occurring through the scheme, the differential equation. Now here, highest order derivative is 1, so order is 1, but degree is 3 students because this is also dy by dx term, this is also dy by dx term. When derivatives are same, the term having higher power is the degree of differential equation. This is a, a rare case equation. Order, highest order derivative is 4 and degree not defined. Why? Because the differential equation is not written or it is not given in the form of polynomials of derivative. So degree is only defined whenever the differential equation is written in the form of polynomial of derivative. When theta is a derivative term, degree not defined. Now students answer to of miscellaneous exercise 9. To the second answer, what is the question? Because read carefully for each of the exercises given below. Verify that the given function is a solution of the corresponding differential equation. Now this type of sums we have done in exercise 9.2 students. So I hope that all of you have understood the method. How to check whether a given function is a solution of differential equation or not. From the given solution of function, function as a solution, if you develop the differential equation or if the function along with its derivative, first order, second order, third order, whatever are given, if it satisfies the differential equation, then students, the given function is definitely a solution of differential equation. So students, answer 2. Let us start with the first sum. Now I don't know, there was error in one of the questions students, I don't remember. Let us check in the first sum. The function given is xy is equal to a e raised to x plus b e raised to minus x plus x square and differential equation d1 is x d to y by dx2 because there are two arbitrary constants so order should be 2 and d is 1 uh, minus x y plus x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Students, there was an error in one of the questions of uh, main question 2 of exercise 9. For students, I don't remember in which sum the error is there. So, for the time of students, let us check. Now, students, if I differentiate this, so this is question 1. Differentiating equation 1 with respect to x. Now, here I have to go by product rule. Derivative of x is 1, keeping y as it is. x as it is, derivative of y is y1, which is a b is to x minus b is to minus x plus twice x. Okay. Again, I differentiate. Then, students, this is result 2. Derivative of y is y1. Differentiating x between dy by dx as it is. Uh, keeping x as it is, derivative of y1 is y2 is equal to a b is to x plus b b is to minus x plus. Okay, students. Now, Instead of a e raised to x plus b e raised to minus x from the given function, I can write this as xy minus x square. So, what we are getting is x d to y by d x2 plus twice d y by d x is minus x y plus x square minus 2 is equal to Okay, we have got 
Therefore, one is a solution of given differential equation. This terms I am transferring to the left so that sign changes. So students, this is our answer. X square will become minus, x square will become plus, and two again will become minus. So this is verify students to be easy. We can verify that the given function is the solution of given differential equation. From where error is there, students, I am not able to recollect. But I think I remember one of the questions. Have a check the questions. My textbook is a third version before four years. Now the second question is y e is to x given function given function is y is equal to e is to x into red a cos x plus b sin x a cos x plus b sin x two arbitrary constants so the order of the differential equation is two so d two y by d x two minus twice d y by d x plus twice y is equal to zero okay now show us all of you please Straight and pay attention. The given function differentiating one, differentiating one with respect to x, dy by dx, derivative of d x to x and d x to x in that time a cos x plus b sin x as it is in this change to y. And the second term, the derivative is minus a sin x plus b cos x. So this is a uh, y if I transfer, I will get dy by dx minus y is equal to e raised to x minus a sin x plus b cos x equation 2. Differentiating 2. Differentiating 2 with respect to x again. So derivative of y1 is y2. Derivative of y is dy by dx. And here, for e raised to x differentiation is e raised to x. Keeping second term as it is, keeping e raised to x as it is, minus a cos x minus b sin x. So this value from 2 is nothing but so d2y by dx2 minus dy by dx. This value is dy by dx minus y and taking minus sign common, this will be minus y. So d2y by dx2 minus twice dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 0. So we have developed the differential equation. Therefore, students, the given function is a solution of the given differential equation that you can write on your own. Now, students, we are doing the third sum of main question 2. Okay, now students, we are doing part number 3. This we have already done students in exercise 9.2. The function is y is equal to x sin 3x. Which we always number as 1. Differential equation is d2y by dx2 plus 9y minus 6 cos of 3x is equal to 0. Now students, 
all of you concentrate, try to understand how to do the sum. Now, differentiating one with respect to x. Differentiating one with respect to x. We don't have any arbitrary constant here. Okay. So, dy by dx will be sine of 3x plus 3x cos of dx. Now, students, differentiating x, keeping x is derivative of sine 3x is 3 cos 3x. So, dy by dx, this is written as y by x plus 3x cos of dx. Okay, students. And here I have to use division rule. Maybe students, there is some problem here. Maybe I am not sure. I think that we should check and then we will confirm. Because students, we have ordered two, and I think we are not given. We should have sign of 3x. I have written y by x. And you differentiate y by x. We have to apply. Division will be. So I think we will check the question and then go to the further students. We will not waste time unnecessarily by checking or doing because I doubt we are not given any arbitrary constants. I think that students will do in the next lecture. So let us conclude our lecture here. Remaining students we will do next time.